Moving on, the bail application of a Durban man accused of killing his student girlfriend has been postponed to next week. It took place against a backdrop of a march to the court by the Durban student community to demand action against gender violence. Tabanim Zondo had previously applied for legal aid and representation. He has since appointed his own lawyer and the march to the court uh, was uh, intended to highlight the high rate of gender-based violence in the country. Mzolo is accused of murdering 21-year-old Zolile Kumalo at the Lionsdale residence at MUT. The Mangosuchi University of Technology has declared the 10th of May a day of mourning. Well, joining us now to give us the latest developments is Afro Worldview reporter Nolutando Nkosi. She joins us live from outside the court in Durban. Good morning to you once again, Nolutando. Just talk us through the circumstances around this postponement. What are the details? Good morning, Abigail, and good morning, Cindy, and good morning to the viewers once again. Yes, we are currently outside the Durban Magistrates Court, where 23-year-old um, Tavani Mzolo was due to appear before the court um, for um, the charges of murdering Uzo Lile Kumalo. Tavani has now appeared. It was a very brief appearance. It was less than five minutes long. Um, the, court, the case has been moved to the 17th of May, where he is due to appear again um, with his um, new appointed lawyer, Charles Klassen. We do understand that previously he was using legal aid. Um, as I had said earlier, Cindy and, and, and Abigail, um, the, minister of, uh, the minister in the Ministry of Women, Batabile Zamini, has um, come down to Durban to show, support, to show support not only to the family of Zolile, uh, but to the struggle of femicide at large. Um, the Deputy Minister of Police was here as well, um, and the family, obviously, of the deceased is here. We do understand the family is going to leave now um, to have a meeting with the MEC, um, Olisi Kawunda, in the region, uh, in Guazulu Natal, rather who is just going to um, maybe talk to them more um, about, about the case and um, what is expected um, from uh, what, ex uh, what government is expected to provide to the family in terms of counselling. We do understand that and the, the likes of that. However, right now with me, I have Minister Batabile Zamini, who's just going to talk to us about her stance um, in the entire thing uh, of, of women violence, especially uh, um, violence against women and children, especially um, in, in universities, Minister, because we are aware that is, this is not the first case of um, violence against women. There was a case um, reported as well at TUT shortly after this particular uh, instance. Just talk us through um, the stance of, of the ministry on this particular case. The stance of the ministry is that no woman must be killed because she says no. A woman has a right to say no. But secondly, we call on the of all organizations and all sectors to buy in the fight against women and children. We also call upon the legislature to focus on the issues of the minimum sentence, but also how these cases are run. They depend on the conscience of whoever is presiding over the case. We are also saying all the cases of violence against women and uh, children must be handled with respect. Um, thank you. There you have it. Um, uh, the minister feeling um, 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 uh, very, very emotional about this, um, calling on not only uh, the police but also the legislature um, to take this, this matter quite seriously.